we're going to kick off our first mathematician of the month with Archimedes. Archimedes was born sometime around the year 287 BC and died around 212 BC, so he lived to be about 75 years old. He was born and died in a city by the name of Syracuse, located just off the tip of Italy's food. About Archimedes' death, supposedly Archimedes was tracing a problem in the sand when Roman soldiers ordered him to stop. He was so engrossed in the problem that when the soldier ordered him to move, Archimedes wouldn't. The soldier wouldn't take that for an answer and ended his life. Now that's dedication. Another story about Archimedes' love for problem solving goes something like this. Archimedes was asked to find out if the king's new crown was made of pure gold or whether it was a mixture of other cheaper metals. While taking a bath, Archimedes observed that his body displaced water. He decided to use the displacement of water to help solve his problem. In a rush of excitement, Archimedes leapt from the bath without dressing, ran home yelling, Eureka! or I have it! Archimedes was a master inventor. He utilized simple machines like the lever, pulley, and screw. The use of simple machines allowed his creations to perform tasks that were once thought to be impossible. His inventions still impact modern engineering to this day. As I mentioned, Archimedes loved solving problems. He would work day and night solving problems involving arithmetic, geometry, and much more. He did it for the fun of it, and he loved the challenge. We've chosen Archimedes because of his willingness to persevere and for his love of mathematics. He's living proof that hard work goes a long way. This is only a slice of information about this mathematical giant. I encourage you to do your own research on Archimedes. I think you'll be quite impressed with his accomplishments. And who knows, maybe you'll find out how he used the bathtub to solve the king's problem.